Ladies, how long y'all, ladies, how long y'all wanna fight this battle, man? I'm telling you, ladies. Tired, man. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Omomi aka Petit Diva and in this video we are discussing a particular video where a guy came online to say that women should reconsider men because men are getting frustrated and if they don't reconsider men it might get to a point where men will resort to violence. Ladies, how long y'all ladies, how long y'all wanna fight this battle, man? I'm telling you, ladies, niggas tired, man. Hey, I, hey, I, ladies, I, just, I just want y'all to just give in, man, because I just see so many frustrated niggas out here. I don't want them to start punching y'all, man. A frustrated man will And I don't want that for y'all. Let's get back to, you know what I'm saying? Not even get back to, let's just enhance the in-house cooking. Ladies, y'all treat some time. Call and check on you. You get what I'm saying? Cause I don't, I don't want, I, I don't want to see a world full of black eyes around here, man. Cause these niggas, it's frustrating. It, it's a recession. They tired of it. They keep on kicking out money to get to know you. They tired. They tired of you saying you healing. And I just don't want to see y'all head get twisted around, man. Cause I'm really on y'all side, you know. So just, ladies, just throwing the towel and just. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to see y'all get a punch, man. I don't. Lord, no, nigga, three piece. I, I. So, this guy was saying that women should reconsider men, that men are getting tired. They're tired of hearing that they want to heal. They're tired of not being taken care of. So, women should get back into the kitchen, cook up a storm. They should be taking care of their men. They should be calling them. They should be catering to them. That there are a lot of things that are frustrating men right now and that he doesn't want it to get to a point where men will start hitting women because they're not catering to men enough and that they are focusing on their own happiness. Now, a lot of people had things to say about his videos, so let's check them out. Do I really have to speak on this one? Ladies, they want a return to the old days. And the good ones, like this one thinks he is, are co-signing the violence. If he really did not want to see us harmed, he would be directing messages toward his broke, frustrated, and angry brothers. But instead, he's telling us that we need to get back into the household, cook more, cater to our men, check on them, spend our money on them. Ladies, I hope you understand what is going on. Bend at the knee, get back into the house or we are going to hurt you. That is what they keep telling us over and over and over. Cecilia Regina here. I'm responding to this video because you all tagged me in it like at least 50 times. But the original creator, Kat, is my friend. Like, Kat has it, guys. If you're following me, you should be following her. She is brilliant. She already dissected this take. All her content should be viral. Go follow her immediately. The only thing I have to add is look at specifically how this man couched his argument. When are you ladies going to stop doing this? In other words, it's all your fault. You're making men be violent towards you if you don't do everything that they say. And it's very much giving United States of America right now. What women are doing is a form of protest. All we've done is remove our energy from the situation. And it hasn't even been all women. It's probably not even most women. But what do I always tell you? Our labor is a pyramid scheme. If only 10% of women, and it's a lot more than 10%, but if only 10% of women stop giving our labor, stop sleeping with men, stop having children with men, stop dating men, the, the whole system falls apart. And look at it. I was right. What you see here from this man is the so-called first line of defense. He's, quote, warning you about the violence that the other men, not him, but the other men are going to inflict on you if you don't do what they want. But notice how comfortable he was talking about it. And did you see something? He's warning you about the violence the other men are going to inflict on you. I thought he and all the rest of the so-called good men were per, uh, protectors. That was it. That was the protection. He's giving you the warning that you have to do what they say in order to be eligible. 
because men aren't protectors. They're like the mafia. They offer you protection from themselves. If you don't do what this guy says, my buddy here is going to see to it that you have a little accident. If you don't pay me to protect your business, I'm going to burn it down. And it's like the mafia or the government. <laughs> they say anything that happens is your fault. It's your fault because you're not giving into the quote natural order. What did this guy say? Please give in. When are you going to stop this? Because because nobody's denying that we're right, but men do not want to change. And they think by threatening us and whatnot that they can get us to just stall the movement. But the thing is, the threat of violence doesn't work if you've already been practicing violence against the women who were doing what you said. It's one of the reasons people don't want to give in to mafia extortion. Yeah, now I'm protected and you take 90% of the profit. I might as well fight you. Living under your so-called protection is just as bad as experiencing your violence. We might as well go toe-to-toe -to -toe because at least then I can look myself in the eye. How can you threaten us that you're going to beat us up and whatnot when you were doing that inside the home before? We're like the Joker, baby. You have nothing to threaten us with. We are not afraid of you. Because you spent our entire lifetime trying to make us afraid of you. You've been telling us since we were girls, don't let them take you to the second location. Carry your keys between your fingers. Every single woman has a story of being followed home, of being actually essayed or experiencing attempted SA or harassment or something. We have now lost our fear. If you want to fight, let's fight. You want to have the last stand, let's have it. But we're not going back to the way things were. That's it. Like and follow for more. Since you told me what you saw, let me tell you what I see. I see a lot of potential clients for put them down funeral home service. They taking applications. I see a lot of potential clients for Forest Lawn. They got a lot of fucking vacancy. Because a lot of these women you talking about, they got daddies, brothers, cousins, uncles. They got a lot of homeboys, partners. You think we just going to sit back and watch you niggas punch women in the face because they ain't giving up no ass? They ain't cooking? They chose a hypothetical bear in a hypothetical situation? What you thought? A lot of men wasn't going to say nothing? Now, nah, I'm just a spokesman. I speak up. But you thought men was just going to sit by and let you do that to their homegirls, to their mamas, to their daughters, to their friends? Because I see a lot of fish fries, a lot of t-shirt sales, and a lot of GoFundMes being set up so you need to fill them vacancies over there for as long. Fuck you talking about. Grizzle, grizzle, motherfucker. Okay. I need men to be really for real for a second because therapy is going to be cheaper than the hospital bills that a lot of y'all are going to wind up paying. I know increasing numbers of women who are making sure they're staying strapped. I don't have a pew pew yet. I would like one and I tend to carry a blade that if I try just a little bit, I could introduce you to your intestines with. So, before you get so frustrated that you start attacking women, try therapy, try Jesus, try, try, try uh, Buddha, try Taoism, try anything. He sound really concerned, ladies, for our well-being, you know. He came to us on some big brother type shit, suggested ways that we could prevent ourselves from getting punched, receiving black eyes, and getting our head twisted if those are the three acts of violence that he told us that these men are willing to resort to if we don't cut out the motherfucking bullarchy and the shenanigans. These men are tired of waiting for us to do our healing. These men are tired of us withholding from them. And in a minute, he's seeing levels of frustration. Y'all, he's putting us up on game. He is seeing levels of frustration that he has never seen before. And he is afraid for our safety because we might get our asses punched or our head twisted back, okay? Now, he could have talked to men and told them not to be violent towards women. However... I'm pretty sure he knows what we all know and have concluded is that men are who they are and who they're always going to be. And over changing when they have an opportunity to change to be better men for women, which is all the women are asking for, they are just going to resort to acts of violence to harm you. So it is on us 
to just get our shit together, get back in that kitchen to start cooking, cleaning, shutting the fuck up, calling to check on his mental health, see if he okay, to prevent from getting our wig twisted. Now, what I suggest, what I what I suggest, ladies, I suggest that you sign up for any local self-defense classes that you may have available to you in your city or town. I suggest that you equip yourself with a weapon, mace, pepper spray. You can Google how to make them. They have recipes for that stuff, right? A knife, you know, a razor blade, uh, a taser. If you are able to, I suggest that you take the necessary steps to get yourself strapped up that in these events, in a case where a man may inflict harm on you because he is not getting his way with you and he does not feel like getting rejected on that random day and you happen to run across him, you can defend yourself, okay? You can eliminate the threat on your life and you can survive to go home and make it home to your children or your loved ones because these men out here are not okay. They are becoming more and more unhinged. Stay safe. Okay, I just have one thing to add to this conversation because I had to giggle watching the video. The man is not worried about um, men committing violence against women. Violence against women is not a new phenomenon. This has been a crisis for a really long time. If men genuinely care, particularly this gentleman, <laughs> if this gentleman really cared about the uh, rates of violence against women this would be a conversation like 365 days a year it wouldn't become it, it it's not a new thing because women are now boycotting men no 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 this gentleman is worried about his own safety and well-being in community with other men what he is um worried about is the level of violence that he will now be exposed to in a world where men don't have purpose, don't have viable options for dating, marriage, or partnership. He's worried about what that means for his own safety and well-being. He doesn't give a damn about women. So don't fall for the okie doke. Now, people were saying what this guy was saying was not okay, that he was trying to say that if women don't um, accept men, that because the men are frustrated, they would now start um, hitting women so he was trying to threaten women into taking care of men and accepting all their bs now i liked what the man who responded to him said that man basically said that he should not think that some women don't have good men in their corner uh, if he and his cohort that feel like they are frustrated and the way that they are going to act is to hit women um if he if they try that their action they might be met with a bigger action from the men that are in the women's corner so if he thinks he can hit some women and get away with it he's going to see some men in the women's corner beat them down like a child so he was basically saying don't come for women you think that their men their brothers their fathers their uncles their cousins will not attack you with the same energy and even more now personally personally i was watching that video and i was triggered i was like is it that this guy is not okay the drink he was taking the cold drink the ice that he was taking it's like he froze his brain that he could not think so he was seeing that rubbish because i don't understand it Oh, don't choose yourself. Oh, don't be happy. Oh, accept the nonsense that we are bringing. Oh, if you don't, we will get frustrated. And the only way we can um, let out our frustration is to hit you. That was basically a threat. Then he tried to appear like he was on the side of the women and he just wants to prevent them from being harmed so he's just telling them just do what this man wants so that they will not hit you like brother are you all right are you okay
did that thing make sense to you the video did it make sense to you i'm sure you later found out that the video did not make sense because you obviously deleted it i can't find the original creator the video that you watched was the reaction of someone else who played the full video but the guy that said it i couldn't find his handle i couldn't find the original video so obviously he realized that the things that he said was rubbish and um obviously deleted it maybe after getting a lot of backlash um but it's just ridiculous that some men think like that like what do you mean people choosing how they want to live their life how they want to be happy how they don't want stress it's not a problem because you could not decide to be a decent human being you not say you are frustrated because people are choosing the beer people are choosing themselves people are deciding that they don't want to be in a relationship people are deciding that they don't want to get married because they don't want your stress they don't want your trouble and you're not getting frustrated to the point that you are threatening people it's a threat because what do you mean that they'll get frustrated and they will start hitting you that is a threat like i said i was watching the video and i was just getting angry because what what sort of rubbish and i was listening and listening and he kept on saying it was like it was just saying nonsense I honestly was like it's something is up with that drink he was drinking because no 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 so men just come online and you'll be wondering if their iq is equivalent to that of a lab rat or even less of that of a lab rat because there's some nonsense that they say that you'll be like uh -uh? it cannot be a human being that is saying this it has to be a hamster or a rabbit or a lab rat something it cannot be a full grown-up man saying such Anyway, I don't know what you guys think about this whole video, this whole topic. Um, do you think the original creator was right in saying that that women should reconsider men, they should um, cater for their men better? If not, a lot of the frustrated men might begin to hit them because they are not um, accepting them for who they are. I would love to hear your own thoughts about this whole topic so please leave your comments in the comment section so that we can get this discussion popping now if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you are not yet subscribed and you like videos such as this please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button the says subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you're notified anytime i upload videos now with all that said thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in the next one bye